Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the green screen chroma key function in Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus 2020. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got two pieces of content. I've got a still image background and I've got this green screen video footage. So if we open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus 2020, I'm going to show you how to use the chroma key. So we're going to set up a basic project. It will be 1920 by 1080 at 29 frames a second. So we'll click create here and I'm going to drag and drop the background first. The background always goes on the top layer and then your content that you want to overlay goes on the layer below. So I'm going to drag that onto the second line. I'm just going to click uh, do not adjust. And here you can see myself. And what I want to do is remove the green screen, right? The green part. Now, what most people do is click on this, uh, the clip. So you need to click on the green screen clip, which is the one below, and you go to effects. And what I've seen before is people click on chroma key and they click the green here, and it doesn't work. And you start adjusting it and trying to change the threshold, and you get this. It's not very good, is it? So if we click this button here, it will remove the green screen effect. This one will just reset everything. So we'll click here and that resets everything. Now the way I do it is I'll click on color and then I'll click OK here and it will give you this little sort of eyedropper, ink dropper selection tool. And using that, we can just select from the top here. So in the very top left hand corner, I'm just going to drag across the top here above my head to select the greens that I want to isolate. Now when I let go, you'll get a perfect cut out. Everything's cut out. So I can click on this clip and normally when I do uh, the overlays for my YouTube videos, I click on size and position here and then normally I shrink myself down in the corner so I've got plenty of space to work with other content. Now you can see that's all been removed and it works well. It works really well. So that's how I use the green screen function in uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus 2020. So if you've got any questions about that, the main thing I would say uh, if we just undo this, a couple of things you'll notice about this green screen. Number one, it's got a lot of lines in it. So this green screen uh, really needs to be ironed out properly. You know, get the old steam iron. I'm not sure if you should use a steam iron, but get some sort of heat on there to get rid of all of the, the creases. So the creases will affect um, the green screen as well. You have to remember that. And you can see it's a little bit darker down here and uh, it's not the perfect green screen i've got you know i didn't spend a small fortune on green screen normally you'll paint a wall green and you'll get a perfect flat surface uh, in this case i've bought this product uh, it's just a green screen that i've purchased and i've put it in one of my rooms just to um, do some green screen overlays so depending on your background you may just you may be able to get away with just clicking chroma key here and clicking on the green here if all of your greens are in a single sort of tone single color uh, a flat color then you'll get away with that but obviously you know I haven't spent a fortune on lighting and I haven't spent a fortune on this green screen it didn't cost a lot of money so the way I do it is just to click on the color here click OK and then I mean you could even just try and select from here like this these greens here for example and it should work perfectly fine so for me if it works well it works well one other little tip is you've got this anti spill here and what you can do is set that all the way to the top and it will just remove sort of any green outlines around the, the figure, the person. So we'll just go ahead and resize this down here like this. I'll mute this for the second and we'll just click play and then we can see the green screen working well. Okay, so that's how, about, that's how I go about using the green screen chroma key function in Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus. 2020. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.